this is one thing that I noodle on about a lot, which is coaching isn't just one skill. It's a lot of different skills. And mm -hmm. you, it takes a village, right? If you want to put on a good program, you have your, your classic coach is the, somebody who's played hockey a lot, right? Mm -hmm. They've been playing hockey since they were four years old. Um, they've done mm -hmm. thousands of drills. They're now a parent mm -hmm. and they go, I can do this. Mm -hmm. I can totally, I, I totally know the on ice stuff, but they're mm -hmm. bad at budgets. They're bad at sending mm -hmm. out regular emails or, you know, but mm -hmm. even if you're good at all of those things, it's too big a job for one person. You know, you need assistant coaches. Mm -hmm. um, you need, mm -hmm. I mean, you can slice up the job a lot of different ways. Um, and sure. it's more sustainable if you have a coaching mm -hmm. staff, right? Your team needs mm -hmm. a team your, mm -hmm. or your coaching team. Mm -hmm. And I think what you're really saying is that what is your wheelhouse? What are you good at? And that person who's going to be the head coach, well, he's probably a great communicator. He's passionate. He knows drills. He has experiences that he can relate to the kids. That's his wheelhouse. And then you're talking about management, the treasurer, someone who's booking ice, calling this, calling that, talking to the parents, you know, about budgets and all that. You need someone else who likes to do that. 